So here we are. Left one chick, 7 a.m. ish. We're, We're absolutely flying. 10 knots. Just uh, there's Lynmouth. Fallen lighthouse. So um, we've got a collision well, guidance warning has <laughs> just come up. There's an unknown vessel um, making his way directly for us. Uh, we've got two and a half miles, so I'm keeping an eye on him. But uh, as you can see, Open CPN's doing a fine job of uh, warning us uh, of our collision risks. So where are we, Jim? Uh, we're just off Heartland Point. Oh, brilliant. Beautiful. He's got his bicycle on the back of him. You're not racing a Frenchman, are you, Jim? No. <laughs> we're just enjoying a, a nice, relaxing sound. We happen to have uh, come across a friend. All right. <laughs> what are the rules of road for overtaking? I think the one who goes faster overtakes the other one. Oh, yeah. I think that's the rule. Got it. Especially if they're flying a French flag. And it was, it is worth about five hundred thousand pounds. <laughs> so, having uh, repaired the rudder fentals, Phil's now checking the uh, charging on the outboard. So, I'm not convinced it's working. <laughs> yeah, it's not working, but you know, it's a sailing boat. I keep telling him this. Well, the sun's setting. We decided to go to Padstow. It's just, it looks too tempting. When I was just a little boy, I saw me mommy told me, away, all away, well, all away, Joe. And if I didn't kiss the girls, my lips would go all moldy, away, all away, well, all away, Joe. Right, we're coming into Padstow. Gonna do a sneaky little trick and just sneak in behind Mool's Rock. Uh, I think we can see it in the dark. <laughs> so there's Pad Stoke. And did you right. sleep, Jim? Right? Yeah, very well, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Apart from the anchor alarm. Yeah. <laughs> did it, did it, did it. Oh, we drifted again. What a drag. <laughs> <laughs> uh, rather beautiful place. We just, uh, we anchored up here right in the middle of the, well, not quite the middle of the channel, just on the edge of the channel. And now it's daylight, we can see all the visitors, Maureen's boys. <laughs> and we wonder if this dredger is a little bit cross with us, because he's, um, I don't know, he's coming straight towards us. Well, I think we'll have to move in a minute. What a morning. Travose Head, Lighthouse. Oh, I see the Frenchman's come to join us. Bonjour, monsieur. <laughs> <laughs> right, Jim is convinced he can see Land's End, but then again, he's been convinced he can see Land's End since Harlem Point. Well, pretty much said to watch it, actually. We said to watch it. Land's End is 28 miles away, a bearing of 228. Right, just going to take a sighting. Seven days alone at sea. That's it,
Well, there you go, land ahoy, here's the sillies. So, approaching the sillies, St. Martin's Day Mark. Last on St. Mary's, it's coming around the Eastern Isles now. Looks on the helm, all is well. And uh, making good progress, just try, try very hard not to hit anything there. Come on, baby, Jim. Hats off to the hats, boy. <laughs> well, look where we are. That's St. Mary's Harbour just coming up. Where are we going? I think we're going to the mermaid. Oh yeah. This is uh, Jim cooking uh, cooking our tea. I think we've got. Um, hey, voila. <laughs> what have we got? We got pasties and beans again, have we? Pasties and beans again, yeah. <laughs> I've had that three times a day for three days. Now, so. <laughs> That's no effect on our digestive systems at all. Hmm? No, no. We got some good red wine though, so um, which is very nice. So yeah, it's uh, the last night of our massive epic adventure. Um, we're just uh, reclining after our tea. Oh. It's just like home. It's just like home. <laughs> right, Samson Hill, Green Bay, Monsieur Le Taxi. <laughs> uh, and an amazing sunrise, look at that. <laughs> 